Hey there, what's going on everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Admiral Piet. And his first name is Firmus. I, I looked it up. I was curious what his first name was. And it is Firmus, F-I-R-M-U-S. Firmus Piet. Yeah, this is a figure I've been wanting. I've been wanting to kind of build up my Imperial officers on the shelf. So I snagged Admiral Piet. Cyber Monday deal, $17. Couldn't pass it up. And as you can see, comes in the red and black box. Through the window, you can see the figure. Comes with his officer's cap and a DL-21 blaster. And that's it. And you got a really nice picture of Admiral Piet there. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around. You have the regular font, and then you have the large font, just Piet. On this side of the box, it's just red. And it is not numbered because this was originally an Entertainment Earth exclusive from 2018. The top of the box is just black. On the bottom, I have this janky looking sticker over the barcode, but eh, it's okay. And then you got some stuff no one ever reads. And on the back of the box, you have the same picture as the front. You got a short bio in various languages and some more stuff that no one ever reads. I'm going to get Admiral Piet open and let's take a look at him. Okay, so I got Admiral Piet open and let's just take a look at him. So we'll start up here with his cap. This little officer's hat. This thing looks really nice. Got some nice lines up here. Some nice wrinkles in the material. Got this little silver little thing there. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I got no complaints about the hat. I mean, they pretty much nailed the look of it. And I think it looks great. And let's pop the cap off. This thing actually fits pretty snug when it's on his head. But let's take it off and take a look at his hair. I mean, <laughs> not that we see Piet's hair that often. But this is a very nice sculpt. Got some nice waves in there. Yeah, it looks nice. And I'm going to put his cap back on, because how can he be an admiral without his cap? So we'll put that back on his head. We'll kind of, yeah, there we go. But this face is pretty impressive. You know, when you put it next to a picture of Kenneth Colley, the guy that played Piet, this is pretty much a dead ringer. They nailed the face. I mean, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, everything looks really, really good on this. Yeah, they did a nice job with the face. And from the neck down, I mean, it's a, it's an Imperial officer, you know, not much to say about it, but I think they pretty much got this screen accurate. You know, he's got one code cylinder over here and two on this side and the Admiral rank insignia is correct. Six chiclets, two rows of six chiclets. So that's, that is accurate. If you look right here though, it looks like there was supposed to be another code cylinder, you know, like this was reused from Tarkin but they didn't paint one. There looks like there was supposed to be like a little bump there or like a second code cylinder on this side. It's just not painted. I'm not sure. I don't know if they would do a whole new chest just for Piet because they reused Tarkin for Rampart, which made the rank insignia incorrect. I can't tell, but it looks like there's something there and they just didn't paint it. You know, but one on this side and two on this side is screen accurate for Piet. So yeah, good job on that. And, you know, from the neck down, it's an Imperial officer. Not much to say about it. You know, nice black belt with a silver buckle, some silver there, some nice wrinkles on the sleeves, black gloves, great wrinkles in here. I mean, this all looks really, really good. Got some wrinkles here. The pants, nice, what's the word, bloused trousers. <laughs> it looks good. I'm not too keen on this hole right here. You know, just like Rampart, the hole just stands out when you see it from the side. But uh, from the front, it's not bad. But I think the pants are pretty accurate. You know, they do kind of puff out at the bottom. But the wrinkles look really good. The back looks good. You know, all these wrinkles look fantastic. And, of course, the boots. Shiny black boots. I mean, that's a nice gloss on the boots. Got a little buckle sculpted up here or some kind of little strap. Great wrinkles down here. And, of course, the tops and the soles. I mean, they all look really good. Yeah, it's a good-looking figure. There's not much to it, but... I think he's going to look great on the shelf. And just for the sake of the video, let's just run through articulation real quick. So just like every one of them, you have some side to side of the head. He can look down that much and he can look up just to there. And he's got some pretty good tilt. The arms get up to there and they can rotate around. He's got single jointed elbows that get just to 90. He's got a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist, and both hands are hinged side to side. There's the right and there's the left. He's got some swivel at the midsection. There's not much crunch, but he goes back that far and not much in the way of side to side tilt this front piece of the jacket is nice and flexible so the legs get up that far and he's got an upper thigh swivel that is hidden by the coat he's got double jointed knees but they only get up to there feet go down that far they go up just a little bit and you've got some swivel at the ankle and there's a good look at his blaster pistol the dl21 and if you look at it next to a picture it is pretty much the same blaster they i think they did a pretty good job matching this so this one does not have that little thing on the end of the barrel. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but 
I think the grip, the body of the blaster, the scope, everything is pretty much screen accurate. And that's what the other side looks like, just more of the same, but I think they did a nice job and it's a nice sculpt and it's a pretty cool little weapon. All right, so let's see how Admiral Piet holds this blaster. So that goes in his hand really well. Let's see, there we go. Trigger finger goes right through the trigger guard, right to the trigger, and that looks pretty good. I mean, not that we ever saw Piet wield a blaster, I don't believe, but I think it looks good holding one and that's yeah, a nice look there. And as you can see, he has no holster for this blaster. So if you want to pose him like the typical Imperial officer hands behind the back pose, you're just going to have to find a safe place for this. And speaking of which, there he is with his hands behind his back. And that looks really good. Looks like Piet. It looks like an Imperial officer. And there he is on the shelf. I think he looks great. And I put him right here because it's at this point in the movie, you know, right before the Battle of Hoth, that he became an admiral. So I just kind of stuck him right there next to the AT-AT -AT driver and snow trooper another at, at driver and there he is in relation to some hoth rebel troopers so he's a good height but boy he looks good on the shelf that face is fantastic and i love that cap i wonder who else would look good with this cap on uh no no <laughs> definitely not so yeah it's a nice figure i like it you know even though it's an imperial officer it's kind of plain there's not much to it but <laughs> this face is it's perfect i mean they pretty much nailed this the hat looks good the outfit, I think, is pretty much screen accurate. You know, one code cylinder, two code cylinders, admiral rank. Yeah, perfect. I think the belt looks good. The outfit, yeah, I think top to bottom. I think it's it, it looks just like it's supposed to look, and I'm pretty happy I picked it up. But please comment below, share your thoughts, and let me know what you think of Admiral Piet. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and please turn on notifications because I'm always posting something. I would certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll just see y'all next time.